Today we're gonna code lots with Mr. Kim Phil Potts and oh how amazing you'll be. Good morning friends. How you doing? I can see uh, Clinton in the chat room. Hi Clinton. Hi Lachlan. Welcome. Hmm, looks like Lachlan had an issue. So uh, welcome back to another Friday, another Xamarin UI Friday, where we're going to have a look at um, actually implementing a bit of an interesting design with card views. Um, now, I got up nice and early this morning. Actually, there was lots of really great Xamarin streams on this morning. I saw Lachlan on, on this morning. There was, uh, what did we have? We had the uh, UI, uh, Xamarin UI July sort of recap. We had the uh, Xamarin stand-up. Uh, David Orton now was streaming as well. So lots of great streams to have a look at. And now I'm going to go and tackle some UI. So hopefully everyone's having a good day or had a good day. Depending on what time zone it is, for me it's uh, 10.02 in the morning. So let's uh, let's duck over, have a look at what we're going to work on today. Uh, it's basically this design I found over. Let me switch this over to my desktop here. This design I found over on Dribble as usual. Um, I quite like this one. So of course, I, I love my animations. So this one was uh, right up my alley. Having a look at uh, the chat there. Uh, Rod's issue. <laughs> so um, this is pretty cool. It's a, it's a card kind of layout with uh, with some superheroes on it, but it does some interesting transitions as well uh, in here. So it looks like a, a pretty good challenge. Uh, so let's, uh, so basically I just started a GitHub repo, uh, github.com, a Phil Potts, Marvel cards. Let me just post it out in the chat window. Um, we should possibly get some updates here down the bottom. Okay, so let's have a bit of a look at what we're going to cover then. So we're having a look at this this UI, and that's what we'll, we'll tackle. So I wrote a quick set of to-dos. So we'll first of all break down the design. I already have done a little bit of that in Adobe XD, and just sort of capturing the screens. We'll have a look at the colors, fonts, and styles, and then we'll, we'll basically start building it out. We'll start with the, the basic card view and uh, some of the swipe animations, and then we'll sort of get on to, if we have time, sort of ex doing that expand animation and the details as well. Um, I actually downloaded a video of this. So this is kind of interesting to have a look at. So if we have a look, uh, you know, we've got a card layout. Nice swiping in there, nice transitions in there as well. So I think it's going to be uh, not too bad. It could be a little bit complicated because there's actually quite a bit going on in here. Let's let's take this in slow-mo. So uh, as we come through here, the user swipes, you'll notice that the superhero sort of reduces in size and opacity in there, and then the card becomes opaque, um, or transparent rather. And then we sort of bring in the next one, and then there's this nice upwards animation here. Okay, And then this bit here, which I think is going to be a skier sharp thing, uh, basically doing this, this swipe up the card here. Okay, and then sort of introducing those details there. So um, a pretty nice little, little animation. Watch it in its entirety. So there you are, that's, um, that's not a bad looking layout. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get started then. Um, so first of all, let's break down the design. So what I did is I basically just went and uh, captured some frames, some of the important frames out of this uh, design. So, you know, basically the the cards here with each of our superheroes. So we can see that there's a couple of lines of text for the superhero name, their real name, a no more, which is what triggers off the, the swipe. Okay, and then it sort of basically uh, shows this detail here. And this is the card sort of fully extended. So that one probably goes probably goes there really something like that so some nice entrance animations as well 
Uh, so what I did is I, I basically just sort of uh, reproduced that in Adobe XD. Uh, so I went and Googled some of those images and found those images here. So we've got a Spider-Man and, uh, and our Iron Man here. Uh, found myself a font that seemed about right, which was uh, Montserrat Alternates. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll use that one as well. Um, and just sort of captured a few of the colors as well. So this one here is Spider-Man's color. This is Iron Man's color. And this is for that sort of no more section that we have in there as well. Okay, so that's what we'll, uh, that's what we'll tackle. Sound good? Hopefully. All right. Um, let's come over here. I basically nude up a uh, nude up a project. Let me, as always, just uh, sounds good, Clinton. Fantastic. Let me just go and uh, and check. This is going to spin up on my device. Doesn't it usually read "Learn More"? Yeah, sometimes in this case. It's no more. No, it doesn't matter. We can we can put whatever we like in there. All right, let's have a look. Let's see whether we have spun up. Yay! Hello, Xamarin Forms. We good. All right. I still got that cold. And welcome, Z, Z Doctor. And Clinton just cheered a hundred bits. Well done, cheat Clinton. Good man. All right, so um, what I actually have running here at the moment is, uh, yo, doctor, I have uh, the Xamarin Hot Refresh. Is that what it's called? Hot Refresh? Um, hot Reload? Going. So the, the basic, the beta stuff. So uh, let's check this out. Let's see if it's working for us. All the dollars, Clinton. Um Let's just see if it's working. Beautiful. Hello, Twitch. There you go. Hot reload. <laughs> I don't think that's the official uh, emoticons to use, Lachlan. <laughs> All right. So, so that's pretty cool, actually. I've been playing around with it, and um, and it works well. Can't complain. It seems to work pretty well. Okay, cool. So let's... Uh, Let's get going with this then, shall we? Uh, so first of all, uh, you know, a key element of this design is going to be the, uh, the the cards. And one of the, I think one of the best card view controls that's available, because I don't really want to write one, is this one here from Andre. So let me, uh, let me throw that in the chat window as well. So we'll use this one. And the reason I like this one uh, is it's very dynamic. Lachlan, you'll use whatever you like. <laughs> nice. This one's pretty cool. It's It's got a lot of customizations that we can do in there. We can do cards and carousels and cover flows and cubes out of the box. Um, but it also has lots of uh, supports, sort of data binding in here as well. Uh, has lots of extension points as well. So this is a really, really cool cool control. And I think we'll use this one. Uh, at least we'll try this one first of all, see how it goes. If it works, we'll keep using it. If it doesn't, we'll swap to something else. But Andre normally does some some amazing stuff. So we'll, we'll work with that one. All right. So um, let's bring in some resources to get started. Uh, and so I suppose the first thing we want to do is we'll bring in that card view. Uh, I think it's called cards view. Looks like the one. Go and add that into our project. Is that the new? Uh, is that the new emoticon there, Lachlan? Kapow. <laughs> nice. All right, fantastic. All right, so we should have that in there. Let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's bring in some fonts first of all, shall we? So somewhere on my system, I downloaded this font. Let me see if I can find that. Here we go. 
All right, and what I thought we would use here uh, for the fonts, as I said, there's uh, Montserrat Alternates, Bold, and for this text down here, we'll use Medium. All right, so I'm gonna uh, throw these into our various projects. So in Android, of course, they go under our Assets folder. That's Bold, and there's Medium. I'll do the same thing under iOS, but it's gonna go in the Resources folder. And then, of course, under iOS, we also need to go ahead and add in uh, info P list. We have to edit the info P list. And I like to just go to the to the editor here. And I can never remember how to do this. Um, I'm I'm desperately waiting for um, for uh, Matthew to bring uh, his amazing tools over to Visual Studio so that I can do it through there. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, because I can never remember how to do this, just going to come over here. I'm just going to find one of my old repositories just so I can have a look at the info P list because I can never remember how to do it. Um, something like like that uh, Clinton who's who's Matthew oh, I'm talking about uh, mfractor yeah Matthew says it's coming soon yeah I'm I'm super excited for it all right let's grab these fonts here I don't think it's vaporware. I've seen some. Uh, I've seen some Twitter posts where it looks like it's uh, it's well underway. So let's hope so. Oh, he's standing beside you. <laughs> You're trolling him. Fantastic. Come on, Matthew. Oh, we love your work. All right. So that's sort of bringing the fonts. Uh, let's. Let's steal a little bit more code that I can't be bothered rewriting every time. And that is, we'll grab some of this here for our actually setting up our fonts. We'll grab a style here as well at the same time. Go and throw that in our app XAML. Alrighty, so what do we got here? We've got, how's that font size? Is that okay? Everyone can see that? So let's start off with our, our header font here. Now, this is always a pain, isn't it? Let's see if we can get this right. So our header, we'll go with bold. So for Android, we put in the font name and then the family name. Um, grab the medium one as well. Okay, so now it's a, a matter of finding that family name. This is always a, a bit of a challenge. Go and have a look at the actual font file itself. <laughs> normally, normally it's um, it's a derivative of this font name here. Okay, so um, Montserrat Alternates Medium uh, or something like that. All right, so let's... What I normally find is, is most fonts... They don't have spaces in it. So um, it'd be like, oops, Montserrat, bold. And this is a bit of guesswork, uh, really, when it comes down to it. So what we can do, um, let's do this. This in first, let's say, turn it bold. And then let's never get this right. Okay. Fonts are jerks. The easiest way I've found to, to work with this stuff is like this. Uh, so who was it? Um, Gerald. 
response. There we are. I think it's this blog post here, which is one I reference all the time. And, and what I like about this is there's a little bit of code in here that just dumps out the font names and font families. So this is specifically for, for iOS. Uh, and so what you can do is you can go and throw this in your iOS project, in your app delegate. like in here and then we can go and have a look at it now fonts uh hi, hi matt matt goldman uh yeah no fonts are fonts are always a problem just because the the actual the actual name is is rarely the font name oh, no intellisense Oix. what's string builder System dot text dot string builder, maybe? Yeah, looks about right. All right, let's give this a build and let's go and find out those font names. Otherwise, it's just sort of guessing blindly. Hey, David, fonts will be drag and drop in Visual Studio as soon as we can get around to it. Hot reload is a higher priority. Oh, this is the plumbing. Let's have a look at that link. Clancy. All these changes. Oh my goodness. Fantastic. All right. Bookmarking that one. Beautiful. Thanks, David. Promises to not be hard. Yeah. It'd be really nice. I reckon what would be really nice is if you could like drag a font in or there's a, you know, there's some tool to import it, like add font, puts it in the right place. And then if you go to properties or something like that, you can see all of the, the names but I'm sure you guys are all over it. All right. Um, anyway, what was I doing? I was going to go on and run this up, wasn't I? You'll be able to, while you're here, David, you'll be able to see some of the problems I'm having with, uh, with iOS at the moment. I'm sure that's exactly what you need after a long day of streaming. <laughs> see there? Ran it. Did nothing. The moment it'll take. There we are. Three clicks. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's my computer. It could be my computer. And then we get a null reference exception. Beautiful. Oh, we're stepping into the code. Here we go. Beautiful. Let's uh, let's throw a, a breakpoint down here somewhere. All right. So what that's done is it's basically dumped out all the font names. Hopefully, there we go. So it's got the family and then it's got the font name. So these are what I use. So if I go into a search for Montserrat alternates, there we are. They're the actual fonts that I want: medium and bold. Now I can go and sneak those in. Oops, that's not the medium one. That's the medium one. That's the bold one. And this one here. Did I get that right? I continue running. Works well see whether uh see where the hot reloads working yep beautiful all right so in that case what we should be able to do without stopping here we should be able to come in here and say uh here's a header font this is going to use the 
uh, the header font. Font size, 40, text color black. Let's get rid of that margin now. And let's just try using that. Do, do. Works well, beautiful. All right, so we've got that font. Let me just check. What was our other one called? Oh, we didn't create another one yet. Let's create header. Let's create another one, subheader. But uh, David, the um, in my experience, the, the hot reload's working beautifully. We call this other one. Save that. Let's add another label in. Just check we got our fonts working. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. Fonts are beautiful. So now that we've got that, we can start working on our actual design. Um, I want to go and, oh, I've already bought in those dependencies, haven't I? I've already bought in uh, the cards view. So that's good. So we probably want to create a, probably want to create a view model before we get too carried away. And, uh, what should we call this? Like a, a superhero view model or, or something like that? Hero cards view model? Beautiful. All right, we'll just put a put a, a cheeky uh, cheeky view model together. Um, so I, this here will expose uh, perhaps an observable collection of our heroes. that let's add in add in a class here and I'm just gonna stick this down below all right uh, so what do we need for a hero we need a string which is the Hero name, we need string, which is their real name. Uh, we're going to want an image. So let's um, add in as a string, we'll get it as a resource. Um, now, let's have a look back at our design here. So what else do we need? We, we need some of these other things. I'll work on this part later on. Let's get this card bit working first. Uh, we need a color for the card. In fact, we might need... So interestingly, the, the name of these is split over two lines, but I think we'll actually have two lines of text. So we'll have hero one, Hero header one and hero header two. A little bit cheeky, but let's let's do that. We can always refactor it later on. Hey dragon, how you doing? Uh, now what do we want? We wanted to color here. I'm just going to throw this in as a string. I'll spell color the right way. No, I'll spell color the American way. All right. Cool. 
So let's uh, let's add a constructor in here. The stream froze. Let me just have a quick look, see if everything's still going. It looks like it should be working. Just for you. Okay, cool. It's all good. Internets, huh? All right, let's uh, let's populate this heroes collection. Um, so let's go and create a new hero. Give him some properties. What do we want? We want uh, start off with our good friend Spider Man. A little bit dirty doing this, but anyway. It'll make our design a little bit easier. Uh, what else have we got? We've got real name. Uh, who's that? Peter Parker, isn't it? I'm doing these in lowercase just because that's what the design used. So I could wrap one label. Um, it would be definitely possible to do that. We can do that. I'm just thinking, I'm just wondering whether the design sort of calls for two labels. We, we can just make it there. Yeah, it's, you know, it basically gives me a little bit more control of, of positioning here. But what do you reckon, Lachlan? One or two? Can you believe I just got a phone call? <laughs> All right. Let's do it on one line then. Okay. And we'll see what happens. We can always take it over to two lines later on. So I'll put a space in there so that it has a chance to wrap. How about that? Does that make you happy, Lachlan? If you're happy, Lachlan, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, okay, let's um, set an image. So I'll just call this spiderman.png. I'll pull those in in a moment. Uh, what else we got? All about the perf. All about those layouts. And, and we got a hero color. Let's go and have a look. I captured some of these earlier on. Should. I wonder if this is still working. I'm going to have it installed. Now I was going to try out my plugin. Oh, well, not to worry. All right, let's go and grab that color. Uh, I think that's all we need, isn't it? Your own name, real name, image, hero color. Beautiful. All right, let's go and add another hero in. This time we've got our Iron Man. Is Tony Stark spelt like that? Nah, Tony Stark. All right, cool. Yeah, it's a Tony. Iron Man PNG, what's his color? All right, here we go. Let's go on. It's that one. Beautiful. All right, so we have ourselves a basic view model. Beautiful. Uh, we better bring in some of those images, I reckon. So in Adobe XD, this is what I, this is something I love about Adobe XD. Uh, basically, I've got these two images here. I've given them a name. You see, it's uh, Spider-Man over here, and this one is called Iron Man. So I can actually go and select both of these, and then I can. What selected? Actually, I better just. 
check where Alder is, where is it? Alright, which one should, let's output Android. So I can just basically point this at the resources folder. Say Android, and it's going to go and output me on all these different sizes. Beautiful. And I'll do the same thing for iOS. But of course, we want to put those. How long have I been working on this design? Well, this isn't my design. Um, this is, I wish it was my design, uh, but it's not. It's one of these ones I found on, on Dribble. So uh, this one here is by Vijay Verma. All I did was I basically went and captured some of these images um, from here and then pulled, in, pulled them into Adobe XD. And then just did Google search for these ones. Yeah, I'd love if I could actually design this well. I'm not actually that good at design. I'm better at copying designs. <laughs> All right. Uh, what were we doing? We're going to go and bring these images in. So hopefully under our resources, if we say show all, Beautiful. It's basically brought all in the different ones. Again, M Fractor would save me from this one. Yeah, it should be fun to make, absolutely, uh, Dragon. Like a lot of these designs, um, there's a lot of subtlety in it. Like, for example, I was having a look at it before. Where's my resources? Here we go. Iron Man's one, two, three. Spider Man one, two, three. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, some of the subtlety, and I think this is one of the reasons I'm going to have to use some skier sharp for this, is, for example, the cards don't just swipe normally when they come in here superhero shrinks down and also this upward animation here when this comes up you see here it actually transitions through the colors so it actually does a gradient on those those bits of text there it sort of pops in these other things uh, including things like this I don't know I suppose collection view um, would what be what we use um, does some entrance animations there as well so lots of lots of little subtlety uh, things like this marvel icon sort of expands out what else have we got we've got uh, things like up here where it has movies and that sort of slides off the page there as well so quite a bit of stuff going on which i suppose is what makes it a good design really when it comes down to it all right, um, so I think we've got our basics in there. Um, we've got we've got our view model. We've got our uh, our basic images that we need in there. Actually, there might be another one that we might want here. This one, uh, we'll rename this. Back arrow. Go and export that as well. Should be all right into there. And let's do it for Android as well. Um, I'm just wondering about this arrow here as well. I 
actually just used a bit of text for that, didn't I? What's the, what's the actual real one look like? Pretty similar. Uh, is this repo going to be called Marvel Cards on your on your GitHub? Yep, I think um, it, I'm trying to keep my uh, my my bots up to date. So there we are. That should uh, whenever I'm working on something. Hopefully, if you just type in GitHub, it'll tell you where it's going to put it. Yeah, I'm slowly uh, slowly getting uh, things together. In terms of streaming. All right. Um, now I guess it's time to start an actual design here. Hey? Actually, I got to bring those resources in. It doesn't actually work, Lachlan. I hit a button. <laughs> exact, exactly. Pay no attention. Hey, Lewis. Welcome. You want a jingle too? Here we are. Today we're gonna code lots with Mr. Kim, Phil Potts, and oh. these in our project beautiful all right time to put this page together i think um i wonder i wonder whether we can just do this while we're running let's see why not one of the problems I always get this null reference exception when it first starts but then if we just ignore that we're good all right cool let's go ahead yeah it's a it's a weird one in fact you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run this on my I'm gonna run this on my Android I'm running on, a, on a, a physical device. I just got that mirrored out here. Well, you know what I should do? I should actually uh, set up the, the view model, shouldn't I? Let's get this running first of all. If HS respond to drop. I have no idea what that means, Lachlan. <laughs> Wrong window. Lucky you didn't... Uh in your password or maybe that is your password uh, okay <clears throat> wait on I'll set up the uh, I'll set up the view model first of all <laughs> to writing some JavaScript I, I tried writing some JavaScript recently and I just realized how terrible I am at it
Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, beautiful. Right, so let's uh, let's test out this um, this hot reload, huh? Get rid of all this stuff to start with. Oops. <laughs> Look at that. Had an error. Add rude edit. <laughs> nice. At least it didn't crash. Beautiful. All right, cool. Yeah, I've uh, I've uh, I signed up for the the hot reload um, private beta, and the rules say you are allowed to show it on stream, so that's good. Um, and it's working it's working really really well. I'm super impressed with it. Okay, so we want to add in our um, our cards view. I think probably probably that one. What do you think? I think it'll probably be it. And let's try adding in ourselves a card. want to see if it would show anything. It's not going to show anything until we actually go and give it some, some stuff to work with. Did I say cars? Right. So um, what it has is it's got a data template. So we should be able to say cards. Let's view um item template and we should be able to stick a data template in here mm. let's set our text and let's see if our bindings working Try this. Let's get rid of that. Let's just stick a box view in there. I set the binding context, didn't I? I set the binding context. Yeah, that's all right. I forget things all the time. Oh, you know what? I haven't said. You're you're, you're actually right, Matt. I haven't said it's item source. That so it doesn't know where it's getting data from. Yeah, absolutely. You're dead right. Uh, and so that's going to be our, what do we call it? Heroes? Heroes. Source is set. The template. Oh, wait on. I probably want to do this in a in a different control, actually.
Meh. Heroes. It's probably because I can't spell hero or heroes. Okay, let's stop this. Let's rename that to heroes. Is that right? How's that? All right, so we'll put that in there. Let's get our main page. Heroes. I think that's all I need to do. Let's have a quick look at the docs for this. Item source. About right. There we go. I think the hot refresh didn't pick it up. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so we've got that there. Um, Wiggly, yeah. So if we were to put this at the end, let's do that as a as a fill. We set our height request. Let's just throw a number in here for the moment. And then I was to set the background color. Hopefully I can, I, I should be able to bind this to the hero color. There we are. And now we've got our cards. Beautiful. Okay, so we've only got, at the moment, it's just sort of swiping between the two. Um, there is a property which uh, specifies whether it loops or not, which is probably what we want. I saw this in here somewhere. Good index. Let's have a look. Let's just let's just go and jam it in. See what happens. There we are. It's cyclical. If we do that now, hopefully, we can. Yeah, we can. We can keep swiping in between. Go around in circles. Beautiful. All right. Wonderful. Um, <clears throat> now, I wrap this in a grid. Let's go and get an image, and we'll say our source equals. What do we call it? We just call it image. Oh. There we are. The Spider Man action. All right, let's um, am I planning uh, so dragon says um, are you planning on doing the rounded corners on the top with skier and clipping well actually we wouldn't have to um, because I can do this right I can do corner radius and I can say like 30 
30, 0, 0, for example, that would give me my rounded corners. Um, but having said that, there's some other funky stuff that's going on here. <laughs> so like if you have a look at this here, when it's selected, Hey, Radioactive Man from Mars. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. And thanks for the follow. Oh, I set up a follow train. So uh, down there, there's this little progress bar that's going down. And that's, uh, I don't know, that's supposed to get you all to follow. Join the train. Yeah, so the, uh, so the challenge here... Uh, dragon is that okay cool when they click on the no more or the learn more button this slides up that's cool we can do all that the challenge is going to be clinton rocksmith subscribe to the tier one thank you sir thank you very much and you've kept that train going. It's up to two now. <laughs> uh, okay, so Dragon, what I was saying is we could we could animate up that, that box view. That'd be cool. But we're going to end up with a problem here when we start doing this gradient. That gradient we're not going to be able to do in a box view. So I think we're going to end up with Skier Sharp on that bad boy. Anyway, let's let's come back. Let's just sort of build this out a little bit. Now, um, what do we want to do? We probably want to go ahead. I want to put this at this. Oh no, not this. That wants to go down the end. Yeah, I'm um, just back on the on the uh, corners, dragon. Yeah, you can you can basically set now on a lot of controls what you want it to do like now I've said just the top left has a 30 and if I wanted the top right to have a 30 I could do that I've got zero down the bottom to make it square but if I wanted to make those have one as well that would then add the that end of the corners there which is possible as well that's pretty cool radioactive man subscribe thank you sir Appreciate it. All right, for us here though, let's just do uh, let's just do a zero and zero. Yeah, nice one. Radioactive man from Mars. Excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. All right, cool. Um, Oh, hang on. Why about Dragon gifted a tier one sub? Fantastic. Well, thanks, Dragon. Awesome. Damn. Damn. All right. Um, now, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? What are we doing? So this is centered. Okay. Um, gifties, exactly. We probably want to set this. I'm going to put this at the start. I'm going to give this a go. See what happens. Let's add a bit of text and see how it all sort of lines up. Okay. So let's throw in a label here. We'll bind this to the hero name. And we'll set its style. Set its style equal to better. Hmm. 
So it's. That didn't work well, did it? Oh, actually, I wonder. This is where I should use debug rainbows. Yeah, look at that. It was white text. Um, and it's it was occupying the full screen. So Radioactive Man, is this uh, a personal project or contract work? This is um, this is just a personal project. Every every Friday, I just play around and uh, and and basically create a UI design. Is that the debug rainbow, Lachlan? So uh, if you go to my if you go to my GitHub repo and I've got lots of junk in my GitHub repo, but inside of here, I do a bunch of layout challenges like. Uh, Mountain Mobile, Rotten UI, Unzone. So all of these are just sort of different UI channels, uh, different UI challenges that I do. And my intention, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so over on my GitHub, uh, on my on my web page, sort of basically uh, write these up occasionally. Um, so art auction, which uh, Lachlan helped me out on. Um, so I basically just write up here how how I go about um, how about go about doing these. So I, I sort of do the stream. Um, so do the stream and then I go ahead and I write up what I did. Um, so I'm a few behind here. I was also thinking, let me know what you think about this. I was thinking about um, after I do one of these, Instead of just uh, instead of just sort of posting out, you know, like six hours of video <laughs> as I build it, I was thinking about doing like a ten-minute uh, YouTube video, which is just like here's the basics. This is how it works. You think that would be useful? Because nobody's going to sit through six hours. Well, I mean, they can if they want. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking I might do. All right, so um, so there we are. That's a that's a good little debug um, tip right there, right? So I put that in, and it turns out that by default, um, it, it has a horizontal option of fill and things like that. So let's say that's make that a start. Vertical options of start as well. So Dragon, you say you'd pass a. Uh, post a short overview, but have the other detailed videos linked in case anyone wants to see the code. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think it's a great idea. All right, cool. So we got Spider-Man. Um, now, underneath the Spider-Man, we have the, the real name and then no more. So stack layout, why not? Let's give it a go. It's already vertical, I suppose. Okay, let's get rid of that yellow. We don't need that yellow. Don't throw in the, the real name. I called that one subheader. Okay, cool. Let's go and adjust some of those sizes and see what we get. I think there is a shortcut that does that, Dragon. Let's have a look. And there is surrounds with, surround with. <laughs> Not very helpful. wonder though because now we've got the, the the toolbox right doesn't the toolbox now have all of this stuff in it i never use it but you know i could grab this and i could 
throw this here. Oops. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do a surrounds with though. It's going to just replace it. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I would recommend XAML Styler though, which is what I use. So when you, you know, when you go and you notice that when I type in stuff, I'm I'm not very, I just sort of splat it in there. And then when I save, it'll format it for me. Anyway, all right. Um, let's have a look here. So we've got Spider-Man, we've got Peter Parker. Um, we want to... Now I could put this in a grid. I have M in a grid. Let's throw a couple of rows in here. So the first one will be a star, make it occupy all the space. The second one is going to be, let's say, 300. We say 400, didn't we? 400. So, and then we'll put this box view in grid row one. We'll go and put, um, we'll go and put the stack layout in grid row one as well. Cool. And we'll put the image. Probably going to have to refactor this later on. But anyway, we'll say we'll put this in grid row one. And then we'll be a little bit more explicit. Let's, uh, let's set a width request. Actually, let's just do a translate first of all. Do a width, well, no, we'll do a width request. We'll say, okay, it's going to be 300 and a height request of 300. And then what we'll do is we'll set it to be start. So it's start and then we'll do a translate Y and we'll take it back up. 150 seems a reasonable amount. Okay, cool looks about right okay cool let's adjust our let's adjust this let's say 30 in from the side 100 down okay that's good Let's see what happens if we change a couple of these styles now. Spider-Man needs to be bigger. Hey, there's our, there's our wrapping. Spider-Man. <laughs> it doesn't wrap on Iron Man. All right, it doesn't matter. You can take a few liberties with this. Uh, Dragon, you say it's functionality of ReSharper. Yeah. Resharp is good. I haven't used Resharper in quite a few years, though. Lachlan. Lachlan says thank you because he's got his one label. <laughs> We're looking for sizes there. About the right size. Too bad, actually. Obviously, the color's got to change. And it needs to be bought up a little bit. So it used to be um, that what I would have to do is on this label here, I would have to set a negative margin to pull pull that up. But actually, this is a, a word wrap. So we've now got a, a line height or something. Is it line height? Line height, what I'm thinking. Yeah, so line height now, um, yeah, basically uh, will allow us to pull those closer together. 
And I suppose that's a percentage, is it? I don't know. Let's do 0.7. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, it's a sneaky little feature that one, and it's, and it's really awesome because so often the, the the line heights aren't actually what you want. Um, Lachlan says you can make the label narrower, narrower, so Iron Man wraps. Yeah, absolutely, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Um, let's have let's see what happens if we say a width request of. 300. Let's just see whether we can get it to wrap. 200. Hey. How about that? Beautiful. There we are. We saved ourselves uh, one layout pass with a label. That's all you wanted? Okay, bye Lachlan. <laughs> we want this to be white. We want Peter Parker to be white as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, let's... Um What else have we got? We've got no more. I'm going to make it. So, Dragon, I think you said it should be learn more. Do you want it to be learn more? You gifted a sub, you get to choose. Oh, sorry, Dragon, I was saying I've got, um, I'm just putting in the bit for no more. But I think because you gifted a sub, you get to choose. Because I think you said it should be learn more. What do you want? Oh. All right. It wasn't you? Oh, well. Learn more it is. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at how that's styled. Peter Parker probably wants to be a little bit bigger. Know more or learn more is about right. We just need a color for that. Bit bolder, perhaps. <laughs> PMs. I, well, I. Well, you're the project manager. Lachlan, you're the project manager. You get to choose. The problem with designers. Um, the problem with designers is that they come up with designs like. Well, this is my experience with designers. They come up with a design like this which works beautifully on this aspect ratio as well. But you go and stick it on a slightly fatter device like this, um, and it's not so great. Or a, or a shorter device. Anyway, doesn't matter. What, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get all of this together. Uh, okay, Peter Parker needs to be a bit bolder. All right, let's make Peter Parker a little bit more bolder. So that was the subheader. Could make that header font. 
There we are. Now Peter Parker's a little bit bolder. Beautiful. Um, and let's create... <laughs> the Martin, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, professional designers and non-professional. Really good ones will make it adaptable to anything. Yeah, absolutely. And a line height of 0.9. Okay, why not? Let's 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 just create a style for our learn more down here. Um, it's, it's a really bad name for a style, but let's make this one body font. So that's a little bit. In fact, I'd say Peter Parker wants to be a little bigger in as learn more is probably about the right size. What I do there. Nope. Okay, we need to assign that style. Beautiful. Learn more. Okay. Um, Tony Stark. Yeah, Tony, we 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 agreed that Tony spelt Tony. Line height of 0.9. A little bit more, you reckon? Alright, let's throw it at 0.9. I wonder if we can do 0.85. See why not? Cool, looks about right. Um, we need some more padding in here. Yeah, orange text on orange background. Yeah, not a great choice, but I think it's what we have. orange text in fact if I come over here we'll be able to see it these are these are actual screen grabs from that video so yeah Martin you wanted to become a designer but you just want to write code <laughs> Every, any programmer can make a good design work, but not every designer can make a great design. Yeah, absolutely. All right, where are we at? We got Spider-Man, we've got uh, Peter Parker, we got Learn More. This needs a bit more spacing here. So let's, let's do this, let's One thing I like to do is I like to actually get rid of paddings and things like that. Um, so let's go and have a look at one of these. Normally what I do is I add a little implicit styling to get rid of all of this stuff. Um, so for example, I think we did it in art auction. I'm just being lazy because I can't remember how to write it off the top of my head. Oh, thanks for the follow. Martin. I'm going to call you Martin. The Martin. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, uh, what was I doing? I was gonna add in this. Okay, so this is what I, I will normally do, right? Because there's actually a little bit of padding and spacing going on in here. Um, and I like to be a bit more explicit about it. So you can add in some implicit styles. So this is saying there's a row spacing of zero, a column spacing of, of 
of one there. Uh, sorry, of zero. So that'll get rid of that. Um, we can also do the same thing, I suppose, for our stack layout as well. All right, so I could say stack layout, give it a, what is it, spacing? Zero. This will probably break what we have a little bit. Okay, but it's basically giving us zero spacing, um, which means that uh, what we can do is we can explicitly set that value. Everything will default to zero. So let's do this. Let's now go and set a margin on this puppy. How's that looking? We've got this image a bit bigger, I think. The card's a little bit higher as well. Make that be fitty. Uh, actually, no, I wanted to be more, didn't I? Or fitty. Four fifty. You know what I could do? I could actually just swap these around, couldn't I? Instead of doing that, why don't I do this? Why don't I say make this 300 and make that star? And then make this one. That way, we can just adjust the space at the top. There we go. That's better. So check it works. Yeah, with our other superhero. Beautiful. Uh, something's wrong with this spacing. Let's have a look. Okay, so different size device needs a bit more spacing in here and here more padding in from the size. This needs to be a little bit bigger, I think, as well. Side padding? Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, we have a little bit of side padding in here, don't we? So we have 30. Let's make that, make that 40. Let's try to make this font a little bigger. Hard to tell. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see if that font size is right. Nice that it added in a hyphen for me, though. Spider. Yeah, no, it's too big now. Let's take it back. New superhero, absolutely. Uh, the soup, the the hero name should be lower. I think the image should be a bit bigger as well. Okay, let's excuse me. Let's see where. This obviously needs to come down quite a bit. Mm, I could put it down the bottom, but then you could end up with some weird spacing here. So I think I will bring it down from the from the top. Yeah, how's that? That's that's looking a lot better. Oh, some white padding outside the card. Well, actually, this is kind of interesting um, because there's not always white padding outside the card, you see here. So when it's sitting there at rest, uh, Martin, it's it's right out to the edges. 
And then when it starts swiping, it comes in a little bit and then swipes across. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see if we can do that. Okay, but I think we've kind of got our... Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's totally understandable. All right. All right, let's tackle something else. So that's, that's kind of... Uh, I think that's good enough for us to work with at the moment. Yeah, dragon. Going to be interesting to see if you'll be able to make the hero image fly in and expand from the center. Yeah, so so this is this is a really interesting thing they do here. So hero image starts here. As it swipes, it shrinks down to a point there in the middle. And also the card becomes transparent as well. That's pretty interesting. Uh, and then... Actually, as that's as that's going down and that's shrinking, this one here is growing. So it's a it's a pretty subtle thing, but I think that's the kind of subtlety that makes design interesting. All right, should we try tackling that? Subtle but smooth, exactly. I think we got a, a a good enough starting design anyway for, for this. So I think we're going to have to hook into some events now. Uh, so we have to have a look at this cards view and see what it has. And I'm pretty sure there is a... Repo. Where it was. Actually, let's just let's just intelli sense it. Let's see what happens. So I'll give this a name. Um, X colon name equals uh, what do you think? Main card view. Okay. And Let's see if we can hook up some events and make it uh, make it to its animation. Uh, so maybe let's override on appearing. And override on disappearing. card view here we are user interacted how did you use this before a long time ago Anime lover, I got lucky they removed the hard professor for data structure and put the best professor at our university to teach it. This is for a for a course, I'm assuming. Up here. And let's unhook from this on an unload or a disappearing. Even though there's only one page in here, it probably doesn't really matter. Let's just do it anyway. Beautiful. Anime. Uh, yeah, data structures and algorithms. Yeah.
right, let's see what we get out of here. User interacted status. And it looks promising. So that's our events for ending, ended, running, started. So I suppose what we could do is we could do this, right? We could say, when it starts, we kind of want to get, well, let's not worry about that bit at the moment. Let's worry about when it's running let's get the let's try and get the animations to go in and out for each of those different elements so we could say if it's running we can have a look at for a moment just to see what it gives me I think it's going to give me the points here code it's possible all right so what have we got here as we do a swipe getting that value there. So that value, I think, is Xamarin Forms units. Which means we should be able to do something like this. So show us the controllers. So the way this is uh, the way this is structured um, is it's actually using data bindings, using MVVM. So, uh, so it's not really a controller per se. What we have is we've got a view model. So our view model has um, our heroes in it and then we're binding those into into this here that's the our promo thank you for the follow mvvm entity adam loves a bit of mvvm <clears throat> No, we're not using any framework. So what we're focused on in in what I focus on on a Friday is just sort of basically having a look at a design and reproducing it in, in Xamarin Forms. And so we're not actually using a database. So in our view model, like as you see here, it's it's a little bit cheeky. I'm just pre-populating with some data. So it's all in memory. But typically on a mobile device, I wouldn't use Entity Framework, although I suppose you could use Entity Framework Core. Um, I will generally use like SQLite. I'll hit back on Twitter. All right, I'll, I'll do that later on. Follow for follow. <laughs> okay, back to this. What are we doing? Okay, so we know that we the diff. Um, yeah, that's true, uh, Entity Atom. Yeah, of course, does have a SQLite provider. You're right. It also has an in-memory one too, as well, right? Today we're gonna code lots with Mr. Kim, Phil Potts, and oh, how amazing you'll be. 
Uh, Zarem. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. What just happened? Things are exploding everywhere. Clinton Rocksmith. Gifted 10 tier 1 subs. Ah, oh, you're a champion. Clinton Rocksmith. So, uh, if you got one of those, make sure you uh, say thanks to Clinton. Fantastic. So, who, who, who we got? Entity Adam, uh, Matthias, Doc Commie, Lewis, Sam Griffin, Griffin, uh, Code Phobia, Billabong. Villa Blong, Blinger Blong, <laughs> Blue Barn, CR Promo, Clean Swift, awesome. Clinton Rocksmith, he's just like with the money. <laughs> you just like hearing Glenn's jingle. <laughs> well, while that jingle goes on. <laughs> it's raining subs. I forgot my umbrella. <laughs> so is this pure C sharp or am I using .NET? Uh, so this is, uh, this is Xamarin. And so we're using C sharp and we are using .NET. We're using sort of, you know, mono, I suppose. So it's, it's cross platform. It's working on Android and iOS, but um, yeah, it's totally using .NET. Okay, let's get a present from the center. And so, um, Death Vox. Well, okay, so which version of .NET, right? So technically speaking, at the moment, I suppose it's using uh, the mono version, right? It will become core eventually. So when .NET 5, or after .NET 5, isn't it all becoming core? Um, but this library here, the shared code, as uh, Clinton says there, it's a .NET standard library. All right, let's have a look here. So what do we got? We're, uh, we wanna go and um, let's divide this diff by the width of the screen. And let's do this. Let's. It's still going. I know. It's because my jingle's so long. Yeah, absolutely, Andy Adam. It's going to be so much easier to explain which version of the framework you're using when .NET 5 goes live. Yeah, so. Isn't that, that's, that's the promise, right? Is that it all becomes, uh, all becomes the same. All becomes .NET Core 3. Oh no, it all goes to .NET 5, right? <laughs> Which framework are you using? Answer, yes. The microphone's just going down. Okay, cool. Excuse me. Okay, so we should have a percent from the center now. Let's see. Let me just. Let's just go and put this here. And hopefully what we'll see is we'll just be able to then use the percentage. We'll know the percentage from the center. says, is it true that every 50 year old is working at Oracle? Well, I'm not 50 yet. I'm not working at Oracle. Clinton's not. It's probably true. Some, 
So I'm still working at Cobalt. I'm so old, I started on mainframes. I used to, uh, my very first, no, my second job was Adabas Natural on a mainframe. My first job was C++. Okay, so that gives us like a, well, it's not quite a percent, it's a ratio. So when we're halfway, it's giving us 0.5. Every <laughs> 50 year old I know works at Oracle. Okay. Let's see if we can deal with this opacity. Um, so let's say if our opacity, um, we would get the percent from center. Um, we would subtract one from it. One minus because opacity goes between zero and one. Um, uh, we should. Never are going to get. We won't matter. We probably don't have to do that. All right. So we can probably then just say, um, our main card view. current view Let's see if that works so uh so what major tech companies have offices in australia loads of them um I don't know. I, I work for Microsoft. Microsoft here. Um, <laughs> I don't know about Oracle. <laughs> probably. <laughs> uh, Rocksmith Tech. That's a that's a big company. Uh, so yeah, they they're here. But yeah, lots. Australia's got a pretty good IT community. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we got our fading. Mm, yeah. Okay. had too much coffee <laughs> good idea Clinton <laughs> I'm not far off 50 so I'll wait for my uh, I'll wait for my letter now here's the question how am I gonna get How am I going to get the image? I need to get a reference to this image in this data template. Anyone know how to do that? Because what I want to do is as this swipes, I want this image to shrink in size. Because the problem is the current view is a view it's not actually a class because it's just a data template. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move it out into a... Is this React Native? No, this is, uh, this is Xamarin. I'm going to do this. I'm going to add a new item. I'm going to add a view in here. I have a view model. Can't you just change the scale of the hero in image property? That would be one way of doing it, I suppose. Yeah, that would that would potentially work. The, the only problem I have with that is what we're doing is a very view-centric thing. 
Yeah, actually, Clinton just said it. Don't put view properties in your view model. Yeah, so I would say it doesn't really belong there. In fact, I'd even, I mean, Clinton's, Clinton's a big MVVM fan. You could even argue that, that color doesn't belong in there as well. Um, but, you know, if this was a Xamarin Forms color, then that would be a bad idea. In this case, it's the hex value, so I don't feel so bad about it. Color doesn't belong there. Well, it's not so bad, right? If that were, if this was a, if this was a Xamarin Forms color, this was like Xamarin.Forms.Color, then it would definitely be wrong, right? Because then we're tying our view model to our view. But yeah, actually, I wasn't didn't mean to do image. I meant to do hero color. No, it's an actual image object, but you know what you're saying would would potentially work, right? Because if what I could do is I could say like, you know, scale equals binding to uh, card scale or something like that, right? That that would work. Um, but then Clinton would come and find me, and he'd hurt me. I don't want that. So, so I'm going to do something <coughs> even nastier. You ready? I'm going to create a views folder. Add a control in here. Uh, JD Gaming says this. Yeah, I could totally take him, Dragon. Um, <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight. I think I might have absorbed your weight, Clinton. <laughs> looks like looks close to vb yeah well I, it, it is i mean it is kind of close to vb i suppose um but it's all using dotnet framework which you know vb.net uses as well that's probably why it, it looks so similar all right um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and move I'm going to move this here. Uh, where is, where am I? I'm going to move all this stuff into its own class here. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go and jam it in my hero card. So now we have like a user control, basically. Uh, and then I should be able to come back to my main page and I should be able to add a reference into this. To my views here. And C sharp is the same as VB, but swap half of the words but for squiggly brackets. Exactly. <laughs> you got you guys and your old computers. What was everyone's first computer? Mine was mine was an Apple II, two E. ZX81, wow, an Acer laptop. Answer the Adam, that's what I'm talking about. Apple IIe, you spelt it wrong. Wouldn't it be like Apple IIe? Go young. Ooh, one meg. 
This is like the old person's coding club, except for JD Gaming. I've actually got a really good friend who uh, who sort of says, well, his first computer had a CD-ROM. It's like, wow. Okay, so I think I should just be able to add this in here, right? So I basically abstracted that out into, um, into another class. I think this will all just still work. Just test that. Sometimes things don't work. Oops. Today we're gonna code lots. That didn't work. JD Gaming, thank you for the follow, sir. Oh, ma'am. Didn't assume. But uh, appreciate the follow. Okay, so I just want to test that this, there we are. So that still works, right? Um, which is cool. And all we've done here is we've got, we basically just put that into a class here. And the reason I want to do that is because if I do that, I can then do this. I can say, get the current card instead of it just being a data template it's actually a type so i think i can say like main card view dot current view as a hero card So um, JD Gaming, I'm surprised there's Microsoft-based app language considering they don't make phones anymore. Yeah, they don't make phones anymore, but um, but what I'm doing here is I'm working on Android and iOS. So now we're all about the cross platforms. Um, okay, what do we do here? Main card view, this is broken. There we go. Now, if I've got that, is React Native cross-platform? Yes, it is. But I think Reactive is much more appropriate if you are a web developer, React Native. That's how I feel. Um, I don't roll that way. So Xamarin suits me very well. Okay, so we've got a card. Um, now let's let's try this. Let's basically just uh, see if we can scale this and scale the image, right? So <laughs> let me let me do this for a second. Let's give this a name. Now, I don't want uh, I don't want Clinton to um, to hurt me here. Okay, so um, you might have to look away, Clinton.
Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm basically just going to say, uh, let's get our scale. don't want this to scale let's do this times is that my fudge factor here um, and then we'll say card dot Lots of discussion there happening all around JavaScript. Yeah. Yeah, that's so present not sure with Xam when you stay in C sharp for everything. That's that's kind of why um why I like it. So I don't think it's for everyone, but um okay, let's have a look here. What do we got? We're scaling down the image. Okay, that's cool. Need to move down as well. Um, <laughs> so, here our um, there's mental pain. That's you. That's that's just learning. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's adjust this some. Hmm, okay, so what's happening at the moment is I'm scaling it down, but then it's staying scaled down. Okay, that's that's not what I want. So why don't we say when it ends in the when the dragging ends. Actually, we don't want to do an else if we just we just do another if. Gonna be both. So that's ending. Ended. Matter probably either. Ended or ending, let's reset those values. Um, So that should get rid of that problem, I think. Beautiful. My green screen shifted. Yeah, now this is this a hole in the, uh, the space-time continuum? Could be my camera. Maybe I was typing too hard. <laughs> there we are. Let's try that. I was actually on a Twitch stream, watching a Twitch stream the other day, and the mouse pointer was really small, and uh, I kept on trying to rub a spot off my screen, which was actually their mouse pointer. All right, cool. So we're scaling there, and we're resetting our scale. Let's see what happens. The other thing we want to do is we want to do a bit of translation, and we also want to work on the back image as well. Yeah, cool. So 
when that scales down, it also has to move down the page as well. And that back image has to expand up. All right, let's, let's do that. Let's work out how we're going to move this thing down. Let's, uh, let's sort of work out a translation, essentially. Um, so I'm going to get our percent from center. say going to translate down so we're going to start off with um, our base our base margin what's our base here what's our translation so 150 and we want to Make that bigger. 150 is pulling it up. Let's have a look. Where does it want to go to? Let's let's run our app. This is the hard bit, I find. Um, working out all these little... I'm terrible at maths, and so... Particularly animations... Involve a lot of maths. Okay, so we start here. When we're here, we want that to be much smaller. So let's work out roughly what we want it to look like. Come here. Stay on top. There we go. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be like scale of, I don't know, let's put it at. 0.25 and it's going to be translation of say oop, wow Bad things happened. Yeah, I don't think hot, hot reload. Yeah, hot, hot reload definitely didn't work that time. Let's just let's just pump something in, see what happens. So we'll um, have a look at how it looks. It basically, just sort of comes down and what does it do it sort of um, let's just do this if that's gonna do it for us And do something. Oh, actually, it's not going to do something because I haven't actually applied it. And then we'll reset it here.
Okay. Wowzers. Okay. Broke something. Ah, oh, I changed the translation of the card. There we are. That's not what I want to do. Give that a go. This is why I really want hot reloading of code. Oh. This is one of my other favorite tricks is instead of having to put a debug in, I can actually just put an action in here. This, in fact, let's just grab translation. Should help put it for me. Yeah, it's cool. It's better than adding a, a um, debug right line. What am I doing here? I'm saying the translation is... <clears throat> Can you use edit and continue? I don't think so. No. Pretty sure you can't. Like if I say 200. Yeah, it hasn't actually applied that change. You can do it on, um, you can do it in UWP apps. Let's let's try and be scientific about this. So let's let's say we want our, let's get our base margin, right? Which is equal to, to what was that minus one uh, one fifty. Let's get our how far we want to move it. <clears throat> and then let's basically say translation then is um, our base margin right? um, plus how far we wanted to move it times by the percent I think that's right it's over there movement fractor movement factor Um, so I think that's kind of what we're after. And then we'll set that equal to translation. I'm not sure if it's going to move it up or down. So we'll move that 100. Cool. This here, this opacity is coming in too quickly. So I'm going to say, let's 
let's cap that at 1.5. Uh, should be about so hopefully it won't fade out quite as quick and also it'll uh yeah so it only starts fading once it gets past a certain point here and then that reduces in size Probably about what we're after. Well, look. As it comes across. Yeah, that's about right. You might want to adjust its opacity as well. That's about right. Cool. use the same opacity. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do is let's scale up the back image. Let's, um, let's try that one. So we can get the back card. So just like there's a current view. There's a main card view dot. Um, current back views. It's a collection. Let's get the first one. They're all hero cards, so we can say, let's get them as a hero card. So now we can scale up the back uh, image. So this one we want to kind of, um, let's do this first. Just opacity back image. its opacity is equal to the percent from center because it it becomes uh, it scales in as or scales and does the opacity as we move in so let's do that times like 1.5 let's do the same thing with their scale Also, we need to do our translation as well. Add another hero for a test. Let's just see what we have here at the moment. But yeah, that's a really good test. Um, Can't see that screen. Here we are. Ooh. 
sequence contains no elements. No current back views. I think there is if there's a swipe. Have a look here. Pretty sure I can have, I can have a look at the back views. Scaling a little aggressively. That's not too bad. Right, so these the different size devices. Dragon. 100 from Clinton. Thank you, sir. Does it get that small in the original design? You could probably put a math floor function to make sure it doesn't get too small. Yeah. How small does it get? So this one, it's quite small. And this one here, yeah, I could do a math floor. What would that be? That would be on our main image scale. No, we don't want that. Don't we want a math min? Let's adjust before we do that. Probably a math.max, I think. I think the opacity wants to go down a little bit further. So I'm doing the opacity of that, and then I'm doing the opacity of the main image. So well, I can do a math.max, right? And if I say that, This way, this way, maths fails me. Five. 
what I'm what I really want to say is this, right? I want to say if if a image opacity is oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. SD goes down to zero. This Pull out a calculator. Let's do five times. I had a value of five times that by. I've just got a calculator on my other screen here. Not sure if that's going to work for us. All right. Um, that's where we are. to adjust those opacities when it finishes. Ah, math.clamp. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, Doing? What am I doing? Your pass is that it's ending we set our opacity of our card scale ah to a you how you doing you know uh r to a you i've got a special i was i was watching clancy's stream and uh, this is what he said. It's R2, so you can't argue with him. It's R2, so you can't argue with him. I don't know if you can hear that. It's R2. It's R2, so you can't argue with him. <laughs> Everyone gets their own sample. It's R2, so you can't argue with him. All right, I think we've fixed our opacity here. I'll send, I'll send it to you, R2, so you can, uh, you can stick it on your phone, so if anyone argues with you. I haven't got a sample for you yet, Clinton, but let's get on a Skype call later on and I'll do it. Because I've got this, um, here, let me show you. Yeah, just a bit of a distraction here. Uh, 
Where's my... Here's my back camera. So I've got this, um, this thing here, which is a Go XLR. My camera moved again. I need to type my camera, but I can, I can sample things like, hello, 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 hello. So, uh, so that's lots of fun. Camera moved. Look at that. This illusion of this green screen failing. <laughs> All right. That opacity comes down too fast, doesn't it? With two L's, exactly. You better hide. Okay, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of fixing up to be done there. Got another couple of minutes. Let's see if we can fix fix that. Um, okay. Whose birthday is it? Is it R2's birthday? Are you just trolling? <laughs> All right. Translation Y. Which one is which one of these is not sampling right? On appearing, image position is fixed. we got oh I tell you what the scale needs to clamp that's actually what has to happen see so here the scale of that gets too big so not having a clamp function <laughs> we'll put one in later on <laughs> the world's worst clamp function. All right, so that should fix that. The position of the back image needs to change too, doesn't it? Here's a link to a clamp function. All right. I'll throw that one in. All right. Um, so the next card position needs to change, right? Because he needs to 
not just zoom in from there. He needs to he needs to fly up, right? And he needs to get to the right position because otherwise when we let go, this needs to, in fact, we probably need your... This is a better... Oh, it's a clamp. Clinton just trolled me. Thanks, Clinton. <laughs> okay. Let's just throw this down here for, for the moment. Limit to range. We're dealing with doubles, right? This should probably be an extension method, right? Let's just let's just throw it in here because we're not going to finish this today. So we'll continue on. So I should be able to say. The scale is going to go between the value and the scale can go between, I suppose, zero and one, right? Capacity, same idea. Yeah, does that look about right? I think it looks about right. Lock and you got a Xamarin specific one. I can tell this is this is going to be a troll as well, isn't it? <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. I oh, know where's the image. AU internet. Oh yeah, it's an AU site. <laughs> I know the exact image that, you, that, that you're thinking of there. All right, all right, all right. Let's do this. We need to also do the um, the translation Y of that back image, right? Um, <laughs> Denial server detected. It. It's probably the most traffic it's seen in a year. Uh, so translation. Um, uh, um, so we're going to have our going to be similar to this one, isn't it? going to be like our uh, image base margin because it's actually the same card technically um, times by our movement factor mm. right. help me help me maths people I want the image Show what I want it to happen. Times zero. <laughs> divide by zero, I think. Everything divide by zero.
Actually, you know what? That magical clamp function. That magical clamp function has actually fixed it because... Has it? No, it hasn't. Actually, something's not right there. I think I need to set. Yeah. I think it's because we've... need to reset some values. Dragon, thanks so much. Deploying on a Friday. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, not really. Um, you should you should listen to R2AU. It's R2, so you can't argue with it. Yeah, so you can't argue with it. All right, but thanks a lot, Dragon. We'll uh, we'll continue this one later on. I'm gonna have to get off in a moment as well. I just need to think about what's happening with this uh, with this one here. I'm gonna fix this one. That pause you just. Oh. Let me just have a quick look here. See if I can work out what's going on with this back image. So this one here, swiping out okay. That one's coming in okay. And it came in too low. All of a sudden, Check my 150 there. Be good. Hey, Clean Swift. Greetings from Russia. <laughs> Here to judge my dirty C sharp. I'm sure that's not the case. I'm pretty clean. I'm house trained at the very least. Main image scale translation opacity. I feel like I should be resetting these values. If we can work it out, I can't quite. I can't quite see what it's doing and why it only happens after a few. I'm changing, I'm changing. Capacity. It's fine, it's beautiful.
Let's see what the back value is. Um, so as we scale, or as we swipe, Matthew, it is cold down my way. My immediate window. Okay, uh, translating Y when you swipe out, but not translating back up when you swipe in. But swipes back at the lower position. So I'm guessing, so I need to reset it up here. But I'm actually setting the translation. I'm not adjusting the translation. Hey, who was that? Rick the Hat. for the following. So uh, Matt, you say you won't need to reset it if you add the translation to move it up as it swipes in. So as it swipes in, this is this is this bit of, of code here. Right, so as it's running, this is effectively the swipe in. So we're saying, let's go and on our back card, set our translation Y. Uh, Clinton gifting more subs. Thank you, sir. And uh, that's to, to Matthew. Okay. Maybe I need more coffee. But, um... Oh. Hang on. Yeah, maybe we need maybe we do need to do the translation, don't we? Yeah. Okay. This could be a right. Um let's try do this. So let's go and say our translation for our back card, right? Because we need our back card to set its translation as well, because it's going to get it from the from the main one, I suppose. Um, let's use that same formula here, except we probably want to negate it. Let's punch it out here for a second. So we'll say our image back margin Um, right, our image based margin, which is which is our minus one fifty, right? Okay. Our movement factor, which is how far it's moving, times the percentage from the center. Okay, cool. Um, and then let's go ahead and say our next card. Checking my screen didn't move there again. So let's say next card. Um, 
main image translation y we might need to clean this up as well um, is equal to trans Nothing good, I assume. Here's my window. Here it is. <laughs> well, there he is from the bottom. Coming at you from the bottom. That's not right, is it? That is definitely not right. Where's their translation want to be? Our translation wants to be... Where is it positioned? It's at the start of the second row. So therefore, it should start out with a positive value and go towards negative 150, I think. Movement factor is how much we want it to move. 100 times percent. So when that's zero, that's going to be zero. It's going to be there. So that's not right. Hmm. Where's all the math geniuses now, huh? So when this has a value, what do we want? We want to say when this has a value and where our percent is equal to, to zero, then we want to translate at a value like, I should want it to be zero. When the percent would be one uh, or a hundred, which would be one actually, we want it to be minus 150. And when our percent is something like 0.5, we want it to be at minus 75. So can we just go? Can we then just go something like Amount, movement factor, no, not movement factor, our image base margin. Bargain. Just times by the percentage. Clamp that. Let's just try that first. See if it's moving in the right direction. So the value divided by percent, you think? Let's have a look. It's either multiplied or divide. It's a fraction. Yeah. It's super confusing. This is why I need to... It would be really great to have um, C-sharp reloading because then I could just play with these formulas without stopping and starting. Ah, yeah, 
this. Okay, but we want to multiply it out a bit more as well. I think we're because we're doing our opacity. Uh, I am. So what happens if we get like we got that because we're multiplying everything else by one point five. We're not quite scaling the same. Lachlan, take care. I've got to run soon as well. But we've made some, some decent progress, I think. Okay, I've got to clamp that to minus one. There we are. Our clamping function, right? Here we go. See you later, Lachlan. Have fun. What's our values here? We want to limit it to a range. Is this going to work? Our minimum is going to be minus 150. Our maximum is going to be probably zero. I think I'll have to go through and refactor some of this. Think about those formulas a little bit more. I'm sure it should be easier than this. I think we got it. What do you think? Nice, <laughs> nice. I don't know about incredible. All right, so I think I'm going to have to uh, go and do my day job now. <laughs> Resident, not sure. Good to see you. All right, so let's have a look at what we're going to do uh, in the follow-up to this when we uh, when we get into the next part. So we got the basics of of, of this going. That's happening. So we need to do the expansion, the gradient, and the pop-up of the data. Ha! Huh, how hard can that be? All right. So we'll leave that one for, for next time. Let's... I feel like a belt monkey. There we are. There's belt monkey. <laughs> Shame Lachlan couldn't be here for it. <clears throat> so we break down the design. We did some colors. We did some view model. We did that. We did our swipe animation. So let's, uh, next time, um, do the expand animation. I I'm guessing, to tell you the truth, I'm guessing that this background here, we're not going to be able to use a box view for. I think we're going to end up with a skier thing so I can do, because, or well, actually, expand animation. There's the whole text gradient. That one's going to be special. So that is, what I mean by that is, that bit there where we're doing the gradient where it changes from black to white or white to black. Anyway, um, we made some good progress. So let me go and check this in in case anyone wants to play with it. Do, do, 
do. Get all of that. Because I can't use GitHub, let's just do it through Visual Studio. <laughs> all right. Let's have a look, see if there is anyone else streaming on, on Twitcheroo. That is worth a raid. No, I don't think there is anyone else on at the moment. But I've got to say some um, some big thank yous um, for everyone joining. Uh, we've got a few new follows today. Uh, so Matt Goldman, um, Mateus as well. Lots of people. In fact, there's probably an activity thing here. Um, Rick the Hat, JD Gaming, CR Pro, Clinton Rocksmith um, with his amazing gifted subs. So uh, thanks again, Clinton. Clinton and I hope to do some streams together soon. So that should be really fun. Uh, Radioactive Man from Mars. Wonderful. So uh, thank you all very much and um, take care. Have a great weekend, everyone. And uh, I'll sign off. Bye for now. See you later. Oh, Matt Goldman. You, you weren't a follower, but you are now. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> are we raiding? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Hang on. Ooh, an explosion. Um, I couldn't see anyone. Can you, do you know anyone that's, uh, that's, a, that's a raiding? We should raid, shouldn't we? It's a Twitch thing to do, right? What's the Alt F4 stream? <laughs> and thanks for the follow. Eventropy. Oh, Alt F4 stream. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna open this over here. Let's have a look. I'm assuming it's something like that, right? Sorry, I'm not very good at raiding and things like that. I hate ads. All right. So this is uh, this is a good one. End of the atom. You're not leading me into a trap. It's not a trap, is it? No trap. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's um, let's set up a raid there then. Okay? Let's make some new friends. Uh, second. Let me, let me fight with uh, my own brain here. All right, let's go raiding. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. Um, join the raid. And I'll see you over there. Bye. -ya.